Hello everyone, welcome back to Dean Stay Night. We're on the final DVD with this, uh, with the, the cover of the DVD being the menu here, which is nice art. I do like it. It does reflect all these characters that I grew to love. And, you know, Sakura. Hey, jokes. Anyways, we're on episode 19, The Golden King. We're gonna learn about Gilgi, whom everyone sure loves, huh? We'll start watching this episode in three, two, one, enter. Okay. I really want to get to, I really want to get to Fate Zero. I'm going to be real. It's like, I thought 26 episodes would be not a big deal, but you'd be surprised. It's a lot to talk over. But this, once we're into original stuff, like, this was way more interesting to talk about because it's like you can talk about new things, right? So I wonder, are they going to just swerve back into the main plot? Or are they going to... That outfit is whack. Are they going to um, keep it being original? I guess this is still original. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how are they going to go back to this, you know? So does this mean we're not going to get the Saber date? The the legendary Valentine's Day Saber date? Because that'd be... I, I love that. I love that. Them buying the lion together? Come on. I love that. I hope we do. But there still might be time. It might be, all right, Saber, let's go celebrate our victory. And then they go to the mall, right? In general, I think putting Heaven's Feel in here really diminishes it being the fate route because it doesn't build on that relationship between Shiro and Saber as much cuz it's meant to be it's meant to be her route where they fall in love. So if it just kind of shows up at the end, it's not going to be as good, right? But who knows? Maybe my Worries are unfounded. Man, that shot with the, the tears going into the the turn there, that's classic anime. So I recently saw on Twitter a thing of like, look at all these Gilgameshes, and I mostly looked away from it because I'm like, I don't want to know. But boy, there's a lot of Gilgameshes, huh? I guess it makes sense because he's kind of the one of the main villains of, of this, but still it's surprising how many Gilgameshes there are. Variants of him. Uh, isn't it if you, like, bend a katana, it's basically done? Aren't they, like, super unsturdy if they twist in a way? I don't know. That's one of the things about Western swords is they're way more durable than katanas. As cool as they are, they're kind of unpractical. So I've not played um, Unlimited Codes, but I do own, like, three copies of it because I'm crazy. I sure hope Soichiro is playable. Imagine you're just at the mall, and you just look up the stairs, 
and there's there's you know assassin just blocking you and he's like i can't let you go hey trace start work from the game That is kind of ridiculous. I mean, he, he's well-trained, but at the end of the day, he's still human. To go through that pillar like that is a little buck wild. Imagine hating birds so much you create a technique that defies the laws of physics to kill a bird. Just out of God, I hate those birds. Oh, you're getting me a haircut? Are we going to get short hair saber? Please. Oh my god, is are we literally going to do Is his body going to go psh? Please. Hey, lion. Hey, nice. Uh Are you not going to do the psh? Oh my god, the visual novel did that fight better. The visual novel did the thing where they both slash each other. And then you you wait a second and then he goes psh open. And it was the sickest thing ever. And the fact that that didn't happen here means this is truly the worst adaptation. Also, Shiro literally fell on his head. He should be dead. That would be the end of him. I forgot she was hit by the real breaker last time. And Kazuki, being a high school teacher, is like, you know what? Maybe it'd be fine to just let everyone go away. <gasps> Gilgi doesn't like that. Oh, this is good. Oh, that's a good voice for Gilgamesh. Oh, that's rad! God, you're cool no matter where you are. Okay, Chad Gilgamesh is kind of a big... F I like that a lot. Oh, yo. Also, yeah, great job missing with most of those. Oh, that is a wide mouth they had there. <gasps> Her eyes. They're so serene and don't fit her voice at all.
What a weird dude. What a very strange man. Then again, aren't all high school teachers? Because, you know, the suffering and all that. wild that she was supposed to be like an older woman and 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 like that was a a point of contention in the visual novel when she clearly does not look like it also yeah dude was totally hurt uh what's with the big final fantasy crystal up there Dude's just chillin'. That's me after I do my lesson planning too, man. Shira's taking all of his effort not to look down. You know it. He is trying it. Well, no. What am I saying? Shiro doesn't care. It's anyone else in that situation. She's not a sword. He doesn't care. What was born from salt shall return to it. What was that sound? Sound like hitting no in a Japanese game. You know, you know that exact sound I'm talking about? That was strange. Stock Japanese sound effects really do hit different. They just have a sound that make you go, ooh, I recognize that. Wow, we're just talking about this, huh? Just going right in. What? Shira, what are you talking about, bud?
I've never noticed his puffy purple collar. That's kind of lame. Wait. Like a a a marriage proposal? I always took it as less of a marriage proposal and more of a you belong to me because I own everything in this world, you know? And sure don't want it to be her grandpa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Zokin. They're both so selfish, they're made for each other. He's like, uh, how dare you be so selfish, says Shiro. Who lit... Oh my god, Shiro. This is the most pot calling the kettle black I've ever seen. There's the drop. Oh, he looks so cool. He's like Spike Spiegel. Power of gun. Wait, hold up, hold up. Is Kiritsugu's element going to be gun like Shiro's sword? Oh. oh, I'm real excited. I want to get to Fate Zero. Oh, yo, look at that. That key art.
I wonder if they'll go into why in this because I feel that car was very poorly drawn because I feel like it wasn't in the fate route at all you know hmm we'll have to see oh buddy oh you made a bad mistake Yeah. Now that I know what's actually that's not water, bro. Bro, you and I both know that's not water. I don't want anyone drinking that purple goop. So I know, I know exactly why he's like that, but the voice read on that did sound like a genuine, you know, what, which would have, uh, you know, convinced the first time watcher there. So we are kind of swerving back, but I'm real sad we missed the date. What a... What a good, I remember that episode, because it came out on Valentine's Day, which was like almost a year ago now. Um, and I remember when I hit it there, and we met Gilgamesh, and I put in the Love is War theme. Aw, it was so good. Look at me mis nostalgic for something that just happened, you know, but that's fine. Soon I will start my own new journey where we will... uh go through Zero and Hollow Atraxia, and boy, I gotta hurry up if I wanna see Heaven's Feel 3 in theaters. Um, I might I might not get to Unlimited Blade Works. I might, the, the TV show, I might just do the, the movies of um, Heaven's Feel 1 and 2, and I might bring my sister to, to give it a watch too, because she'll, uh, she says she wants to see Heaven's Feel 3 with me in theaters, so I'll watch those two with her, so it might be another double commentary, we'll see. All right, next time. What do we got? <gasps> Date! Saber doesn't understand the concept of, what are you doing to Osaka? <gasps> yeah, the lion! Oh, this is what I wanted! <gasps> that smile! Oh, that's what I wanted! Alright, I, I need to watch that episode right now. Thank you all for watching, guys. Next time, date time, I want to feel happy and warm on the inside. We'll see you then for that. Ciao!